So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a bubble map. It's going to look something like what you see beside me, uh, kind of. We cannot really 100% replicate it, but we can get very very close. So let's get started. Okay, so with this technique you can create bubble charts and you can create like any bespoke chart that you want. For example, I create this about subway you know, income by subway station, which I think it can be quite cool. So what do you need in order to be able to create this type of bespoke visualizations is you need to have the XY coordinates for it. And I found a tool that I find very, very useful and I'm going to show it here. So this is the tool, it's called Web Plot Digitizer. It's a little bit rudimentary in the UI, but it is wonderful. Let me show you how it works. So you go here and click here, launch now, and then you have the possibility to import a chart. Now, here's the thing. You can do a lot of things with this tool. What I'm going to do now is to map the X, Y coordinates, but you can actually extract any information that you want. I showed you on Kerbal channel how to get um, data out of a chart. So go and check that out too. I'm going to post a link down below and it will pop something here. Uh, but this is just for X, Y. Let me show you. So what we're going to do, I have created this image that you see here. I have numbered and then I have these green dots that I have added to it. There are two ways that you can get that X and Y coordinates from that tool. Number one is that you point manually at the points that you want to extract or you have the tool uh, look at the picture and analyze it and get the points out for you. So if you have a list of countries in a specific order, put the numbers and click manually. If you don't, if you still need to map it, then have the tool take out the numbers for you. So here, as you can see, I have a green dot and I'm going to import this image into that tool. Let me show you. So we're going to go here, file, load images, choose files, and then we're going to grab that image. This is an XY plot. And the first thing that we're going to do is to give the coordinates, mark where the coordinates should be if this was an XY chart. So I'm going to put X1, X2. Make sure you make it in order, otherwise it will invert. You can actually do that. So, and then X3 and up here somewhere. X4, okay, and then click complete. And now we're going to do one to a thousand. And what I'm basically telling is like, this is a zero to a thousand, zero to a thousand X, Y, that's all. Okay, and then as you can see, you have the possibility, as I mentioned before, to add the points. So if you have a specific order that you want the points to be, just click on that order because you won't be able to add what the points are in the tool. You can do it afterwards with a small trick that I found. What we're going to do is extract it manual, uh, automatically, so you can see how it is done. So you go here and you tell the tool what color you're aiming for, like that color, okay? And then you click done, and then you run this thing, and then you'll see that it found all the green dots, which is wonderful, that's what we wanted to do. And then we go here to view data and graph into plotting because it will show us if whatever it got, right? We're going to change this to a scatter plot. And as you can see, it looks fairly similar to the map that we had. And one thing that you can do with plotting here is you can add an ID to the coordinates, right? So there you go. You add it like that, and now we go into Power BI. Let me show you. So here in Power BI, as you can see, I've already done it to tell you that it works, but we're going to reproduce these kind of. So you're going to go here and create a new table. So you are going to paste the values that you just copied, right? So you go here, Control C, and then go back to Power BI, Control V, and do headers. And then this is the X coordinate, this is the Y coordinate, and this is the country ID. And this is our bubble map. 
I guess we can... No, we need to edit. Let me show you why. I'm pretty sure we should load it first. We should probably load it first. Okay, so this should be a decimal number. This should be a decimal number. This is um, text. That's fine. And now, let me grab a new one. So, first of all, as always with Charticulator, make sure that you go and get the visual, right? Get more visuals and upload the visual again because it updates all the time, guys. So, bubble map. You put X, Y, and country ID, right? Mm, let me show you this, because this is critical to actually being able to map this thing. Go to Edit, Create Chart, and then put, as always, everything up here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw the X in the X axis, the Y in the Y axis, and I'm going to have a symbol in there, and you can see that our map just appear before our eyes, right? Now, we need to map the IDs with a country. And to do that, you know, you can't do this with Power BI out of the box. So if I put the country ID on the text, you can see that it gives me the numbers. And so now I can match these with that one and give number one Portugal, number two, Ireland, number three, Spain, right? So what you would do now is you, once you have it, you open two screens, go back and then go to Power Query. And then in here, just start adding the countries. So country, and this is one is, it was Portugal, the other one was, uh, Ireland, I think, then it was Spain, and so on and so forth, right? You need to map these, right? So once you map that, you need then to um, add the relationships to your model in order to get the population, which for me, the population is on this population table. And that's it, that's all you need to do. So when you go up here, let me show you no, that one, this one. So edit. So here you can just, with the symbol, you add the population to the, um, to the symbol, and then you add one text for the country and one for the uh, population size, and that's all. That's all you need to do. It's like very, very easy. So that is a way to create bespoke charts with this fantastic tool. Again, if you would like to extract data out of charts, you can do that with this tool. And I showed it on Kerbal channel, my main channel. So go there, click there, check it out because it's really, really cool. Okay, I will see you again next week. Until then, take care.